kind of like the Olympic torch, I guess. There's one in Russia, right? Hey! I do like the rooftops, they're the best bit. Yeah, the domes are cool. There's so many of them as well. Oh yeah, that's the back end. We're on every side of the back end. I'm all fucking miles the last few days. We're busy down there. Probably more. At least seven miles a day. Coliseo. We're holding up our friends who are waiting for us down here somewhere. But, to be honest, this is worth it. Oh god, is that the queue? Fuck. <laughs> down in all the room of ruins. It's pretty. Very old. Like That's Rome, a little Roman apartments. That looks like some kind of fort, though. Mm. So close in to the Colosseum. Mm. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it was like the prison compartments for the slaves. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, so what you just saw there in, in the footage before was um, uh, the last day we spent in Rome. So in the morning, uh, we sort of got split up at the train station because it was busy and people weren't paying attention to where they were going. So me and Colby went to um, went to the centre of the city and, well not centre, sort of the outskirts of the city. Um, and we went to the sort of big white war museum, that was the building we went into. So it was like, it was more of the modern war of, uh, of Rome. Um, and then after that, we went into the ruins where people lived, which were pretty nice. Um, and then we went he headed to the beach, um, which is the picture you can see us all here looking like total twats. Um, but it was a really, it was a good beach. So we stayed stayed there for a few hours. The train there was horrific, so it was so hot, and we missed one of the trains because some woman told us to get off when it was the wrong station. So this is quite a good panoramic shot, and you can see David's head just weirdly crushed as the the panning shot but um it, it's, it was it was nice it was about well, we had to pay it was one of those beaches we had to pay for like deck chairs and stuff but apparently it's where all the uh the roman people who actually live there or sort of the italians go should i say um it was it was, a, it was a nice beach and the sea was really warm so we just chilled out swam a bit did a bit of sunbathing and then um yeah i think it was it was quite expensive well, actually no it wasn't that expensive it was it was like 12 pound per sunbed but the, we're because we were outside of the tourist areas nobody spoke english properly so it was a bit of <laughs> hassle trying to get one a lot of i think a lot of arm waving went on um so yeah i like the shots so you can see us uh three in on the left and then david in the middle um and yeah and after that we headed uh back into rome on the train obviously Picked up our friend and then headed out for a meal in the, late at night. Because in Italy, um, generally they have meals quite late because of the heat and stuff. So um, we got to the Pantheon about, I don't know, half past ten or so. Um, we walked there and then we went and had a nice meal. So, I mean, look at that for a view. It, you would have seen it on my uh, um, uh, like Facebook feed if you follow me on Facebook. Um, and yeah, it was quite good. So you obviously got the doofus on the right, it's David. Then you got Charlie and me. And then on the left, you got Colby, Joe, Jack and Adam. So yeah, uh, it was probably the best I spent in Rome actually. I did so much stuff. 
Um, and if you're ever going to go to Europe and Italy, go to Rome because it is, it is really worth it. There's so much cool stuff there. So yeah, uh, check out tomorrow's video where we go to Switzerland, which is, no, Florence even, which is pretty badass. So um, hope you enjoyed uh, the vlog so far and uh, catch you later.